love and light to you, my Capricorns. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is I, the Butterfly, and I'm here to give you your wide day goes to reading until July 2020. Um, this is a general reading. I like to say this is a general reading. So, because this is a general reading, that means that all things may not apply. That means some things may resonate with you, while others may not. You may be listening to this and say, no, nah, that's not them. That's me. That's how I feel. Hey, feel free to switch the roles. It's a general reading. I'm, call, I'm uh, drawing on the collective energy of uh, the masses. So take what resonates, discard what does not, or this very well may not be your reading at all. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what you do. I mean, I don't want to get so long into the intro, but okay. If you watch these tarot readings, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. If you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to Eve Gary. And then once you subscribe to me, hit that notification button so you'll get all the lovely updates for whenever I release new materials on my channel. Uh-huh. And if you're returning to my channel, you know big ups. I give you much love. I truly love the support that you guys have given me by you subscribing to my channel. You motivate me to continue to do what I'm doing. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you for just being there and supporting me and showing me your love. Um, if you listen to my last reading, uh, the What's Up With You reading, I said at the end of August of 2020, I will be uh, going through my videos to see who had the most views. And I'm going to be looking in the comment section on that video that had the most views. And I will take those names from that video and I will uh, enter them into a raffle to see who will win a free 20 minute reading with moi. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for that. As always, uh, thank you for joining me and I appreciate all the love and support. So all these cards that are flipping out right now, this is what has transpired. So what's going on between you and this person? Why they ghost you? It doesn't look bad so far. It looks like, what's going on? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see my Capricorns. Wow. This is confusing already. Perplexing. Yes, it is. Capricorns, what y'all be going through? Because your readings be like, so like, what the hell is going on? King of Cups in the reverse. You might be dealing with a Cancer plus a Scorpios. I'm going to leave that on the bottom. So this person. <laughs> this is what has already happened. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Now with the, the I want to say the overall energy is King Cups in reverse. So this is saying that this person may have closed themselves off emotionally from you. And that's just the worst case scenario. But this person is a walking contradiction. Why am I saying this person is walking contradiction? Because with this Ace of Swords, this Page of Wands, and this Eight of Pentacles, it's saying that if this is the past energy that this person, they may have emotionally pulled away from you or given you the notion that they have emotionally pulled away from you. They have not truly done that. They actually would like to talk to you and be open and honest with you and they're waiting to hear from you with that page of wands because they would actually like to work on the situation so why the freaking bracket of fruit did you guys break the hell up well, i'm confused i'm confused what is this capricorn listen your readings are always like this what's up with y'all What's up with that? What's up with that? If you watch Saturday Night Live, you'll know what I'm talking about. What's up with that? Yeah, what's up with that, y'all? What's up with that? What's up with that? This is not bad. So this person is like, what has already happened? This is saying that this person has emotionally pulled away from you. They're giving you mixed signals like a mother scrunger. But the truth is, is that this person really wants to talk to you and speak their truth because they want to work on your relationship. What in the hell is going on, Capricorn? This doesn't make any sense. It's this person that... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, five, this person... Oh my gosh, you're dealing with a manipulator. Uh, I'm going to be dishonest. 
This person is acting like this because they want you to come to them. That's so crazy. Absolutely. Ace of Wands. Absolutely crazy. That's what I'm telling you. They want a new passionate beginning with you. This person is acting this way towards you to try to psych you out so that you will be the one to fold and chase after them. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Wow. Webzy, webzy, wow, wow. Wow. So they're, they're behaving like this because they actually want you to come chasing after them. So they're acting like that they don't care <laughs> how they truly feel about you. <laughs> tonight, oh my gosh, not tonight, the King of Wands, Hermit in the Reverse, and what else? Ace of Cups. Okay. It's saying that this person, they have a lot of passion for you. They want to come in after you. They want what they want, <laughs> which is you. But with the hermit card in the reverse, it's saying that they pulled away from you and they pulled their love away from you. But it's telling me those are contradicting energies. That's not what they truly want. Why is this Ace of Cups in the reverse here? Five of Wands, competition, conflict. Oh gosh, you got five of Wands and five swords. So this person is conflicted, okay? This is not talking about outside conflict competition. This person is a walking contradiction. They are behave they're in uh, they're at odds with themselves. They're behaving this way because they feel so if they do this, that this is going to bring you they're they're trying to get you to come to them. Okay? They want to win. So if they feel so if they shut themselves down towards you. If they, it's, it's a contradiction because you got the king of cups in reverse and then you got the knight of wands or not the knight of wands, the king of wands somebody who goes after what they want so this is how they truly feel about the situation they would like to come after you they want what they want and which is you but it's saying that it's like the, the, the hermit in reverse is like needing to get away but can't like this person with the ace of cups in reverse that could feel like there's unrequired love or they feel as though that they're not going to get what they want as far as the love that like they're conflicted a reason i'm saying conflict is the five of, of, of wands is on top of that when you get the five of wands on top of the ace of cups it's saying that no this person is a walking contradiction they truly want you they're at odds with themselves they're playing these games they're emotionally in turmoil so it's like they really want you but they're putting out this emotion like, yeah, I don't want her. I don't want him. You know, no, I don't want them. But they want you to come to them. That's what it is. They want you to come to them because they feel as though if they put up this front with you, that it will draw you to them and they won't have to put in the work. But in the end, they win. But they don't understand by them acting like this, they're actually pushing you away. Five of, 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 of Wands talking about competition. One-upmanship. You got this, I want to win. I want to win. So I'm going to pretend like I don't love you. I'm going to pretend like I don't care. But in actuality, I actually want your ass. I have a lot of passion for you. I wish I could talk to you so I could tell you how I truly feel. How I really want to work on this relationship. And I'm just doing this because I want to win. I have so much passion for you. I just want to win. But I got to mess with your head to make you feel like I don't care when in fact I do. So what is going to be the outcome for you, my Capricorn? It's like they're trying to stall you out or something. Who are you be messing with Capricorns? You could be dealing with the Aries Sagittarius or a Leo. What's that Dilio? Or Virgo. We have a fine card. What else? Queen of Wands. And what else? Tumpers. Listen, this person still cares about you or ass. We got a couple here. We got the King of, of Wands and the Queen of Wands. 
they see you as being when I say you're air like I mean though the, they see you as soulmate you have the same passion fire and desire as them they see you as being beautiful creative you know hard working that you go after what you want and you try to you are a spiritual person you establish yourself that you're very beautiful you're very capable they see all this they see that you are their equal my best and with the sour font card they could say you're a very spiritual being that you have high standards and morals that they just can't come at you any old kind of way if they're gonna come at you they're gonna have to come correct and what is coming correct temperance because they see that you're a very spiritual intuitive being okay and you may have put a spell on them with who you are these are just amazing readings my Capricorns okay so you got somebody who's trying to play some mind games. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That they're projecting something that's not true. They've withdrawn from you because they actually want you to chase them and not the other way around. But deep down inside, they see you as being their soulmate. They're equal, okay? You complete them. You are their match. You are what they want. But they're going to give you these mixed-ass signals because they want you to be the one to fold and not them. Okay, maybe with that, that king of wands got a little pride on your side, but the truth is, is that they, the outcome is, is that they want a higher commitment with you and they want to bring balance back into this situation. So I don't see this as being over between the two of you. They're playing mind games with you, but the truth is, is that they really truly want you. Okay, they have a lot of passion, desire for you and they would want, they want it. They're waiting. The file, I mean, the, 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 the uh page of wands is saying they're waiting for good news they are they're acting like this they are baiting you you can bait it okay <laughs> they are baiting you they want you to fold and crumple and to come to them yes they do they're waiting to hear a message back from you for a new passionate beginning and they want to win but the thing is they got to be careful because they don't want to lose what they're trying to win because you feel like hey you playing games with me screw you you could be that type of Capricorn right right got it the hermit card blossom that's judgment yeah they want a second go around with you right now they're falling back refusing to see acting like they're ignoring you Come, uh, moon card you may be dealing with um, what is judgment is Libra Cancer Pisces Scorpio Aquarius Gemini Libra or Virgo one more change your focus somebody change but being focused on the wrong thing you know there's something that happened between you guys where this person is looking on the past and with that moon card is saying that they are confronting their shadow self there's something that they're dealing with they're behaving this way because it's something some sort of internal conflict they have with themselves firm foundation that's the four of pentacles that oh and the tent oh my gosh this person i said firm foundation i'm about to say and then you got temptation this person is still holding on to you they are not letting you go okay they are not letting you go they are putting up a front these this person is obsessed with you okay they are holding up to four pinnacles and the, the, the double card beside each other you're talking about somebody that is holding on to you uh, they're not letting you go this person is fixated on having you change your focus oh my gosh they're doing they're a very emotional person there's a lot that they're keeping inside. We have rest and rejuvenation. That's the four of swords. We have victory and success. That's the six of wands. And we have the, t the, the, t the destiny. The, uh, and three. Oh my gosh. This person is waiting on you. They are waiting on you justice will of fortune they feel they're waiting on divine time face chakra choose, choose wisely choosing wisely that's also the seven of cups talking about daydreaming decision that this person may be fantasizing or dreaming about you spiritual strength that's the nine of wands they're hanging in there love begins that's the eight and not the eight the ace of cups 
this person still loves you. They care about you. They see you as being a soulmate, air like type person. Very beautiful and capable. This person's not letting you go. I know y'all getting tired of these goddamn readings so mad because they keep saying the same goddamn thing. But I know why they're saying the same thing because of the time that we're in. I know we got all these planets retrograding right now and people, all these emotions being stirred up and pulled up. I know what's going on. You might not be knowing what's going on. You need to learn about retrograding planets and how they affect your life and everything else like that. So this person is is strapped in your head about you. Okay, and they're waiting for you. They're they're waiting to hear from you. Okay, they're playing a mind game. I hate to say it like that, but they are playing a mind game. And the reason why they're playing this game is because they want you to be the one to come to them. And I know that's kind of sucky, but hey, that's life. That's how it goes. So, um, that is your reading, Capricorn. And you guys stay in some trouble. You seem to have somebody who is obsessed. All my readings keep repeating the same message over and over again, one way or another. And what I'm telling you is that this is what the universe had designed for you, okay? So whoever it is that you're dealing with, look at your life. Because it looks like the karmic will of destiny is ready to turn in your favor and that you guys look like you're destined to be together okay so that is my reading for you i'm tired of titling this they're obsessed about you they want you da 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 ba -ba -da, -da, da it is what it is okay the messages keep repeating themselves if you watch all my readings you'd be like damn it capricorn why we gotta keep getting these same old readings where is the results well, now you know what the results are you guys are not connected right now but this person they really love you and they're waiting for you to reach out to them they're holding back because they want you to be the one to come forward and if you be the one to come forward that means that they can save their pride and their ego and say yeah yes capricorn came to me finally but i'm pretending like you know what you want capricorn i don't know if i want to talk to you right now capricorn meanwhile they're giddy like a girl little school girl like oh my god Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So yes, that's what I'm seeing. So it's up to you to choose what you're going to do, what you're going to do, but it's not over between the two of you. I keep saying I know you get tired of hearing that, but hey, it is what it is. So yes, that is your reading, my Capricorns, my siblings. You know I love y'all. Alrighty, check back in with me later on this month. And remember what I said, I'm going to be going through those comments. And I'm going to be taking those names in the comments, putting them in a raffle. And whoever wins, wins. That's at the end of August. And you get a free 20-minute reading. So check back in with your girl. And if you're new to my channel, remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. As always, peace, love, and light to you all. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.